guys, Mr. Ken here with Carolina Kid Coders uh, with another quick video. So someone today posted, um, I'm in this Teaching with Scratch group, and someone posted this video. Um, I'm going to go ahead and run it with no sound. But um, a lot of people were asking how, how they made this video. And um, it's actually a, a fairly simple technique, and I want to uh, show you how it's done. This person didn't post the, the actual... Um, scratch project, which would have been nice, but um, it's a simple technique. You'll notice that the object is following the mouse pointer in a circle, and then he's shooting the these COVID-19 um, things that are going around. Let's restart it again. Let's do a replay. Okay, so and also the eyes are following it. So this is actually a simple technique that you can use. You could you could also uh, use uh, some trigonometry to do this as well, which isn't necessary because uh, Scratch has this built in. So I'm, what I'm going to show you today is how you can do this little circle effect and how you can create this um, just using the drawing tools in Scratch. I'm not going to make the eyes, but I am going to show you how to make something follow in um, a circle. Okay, so um, it's, it's you Actually, the secret to it is just in the drawing, and I'm going to show this to you right now. So let's jump over. I'm going to um, I'm going to change this to my Scratch account, and I'm going to go ahead and create. And up will come a new project, and I'm going to get rid of my cat, and I'm going to come down here. Uh, and I'm going to paint. I'm going to first paint. I'm just going to do this. You, you can make any shape you want. I'm just going to use a little circle, a square, whatever it is. That's going to go around a circle. I'll make a little tiny ball and then a big circle that it will kind of revolve around at and, and always point towards my mouse pointer. Okay, so I'm going to choose paint. And I'm just going to make a little tiny ball. I'm going to leave colors the way they are and everything. And I'm just going to make a little ball like this. Um, actually, if you hold down the shift key, let me delete that and do that again. I'm going to hold down the shift key. Uh, if I hold down the shift key, I'll get a perfect circle. And I just want to make a small little circle. So this will be the circle that follows uh, my mouse pointer. I'm going to put it over here. All right. And what I'm going to do is move this circle to the center right here. So I have it centered. And um, you'll notice, actually, for those of you who've been using Scratch, a uh, big complaint was that there was no new way to center things in Scratch 3. And they finally added this, which is great when you center it. I, I believe it feels like it snaps in. So right now this ball is um, snapped in. If I want to center it, of course, I could do X0, Y0. I'm going to put it right in the middle of my screen. And then uh, now that I have these squares on, I'm going to just use my right arrow to move this. I don't want to move it down. I just want to move it straight to the right. Okay, just like this. Okay, now I'm not moving it. Um, I'm moving it here, not on my screen. What I want to have is a like a radius. Like if I was to make a circle here, this would be this cer certain radius from the center of my screen or the center of my circle let's say. So I'm going to move it about this far out so I can have a circle this big. So once I have that, I'm good to go. So the next thing I want to do is make my circle. So uh, what I'm going to do next is this. Um, I'm going to duplicate the sprite. So I'm going to come over here, right click, and duplicate. So now I have a second sprite. I'm going to call this sprite, I'm going to call this one I'll call this one the following circle. So this, this is the one that's going to be following circle. Helps if I could spell here. There we go. So following circle. The second sprite I'm going to call my big center circle. Okay. But it's not a big center circle right now. If I shrink it down, of course, it looks like this again. What I want this here is, <clears throat> the reason I duplicated it, is I want a reference point so I know I have a perfect circle that goes around. So I'm just going to, um, I'm going to make this circle, the fill color, a little different over here, and maybe I'll make my outline here <clears throat> a blue color. doesn't matter what you make it, okay? And, um, and that works out fine. Now, 
The next thing I'm going to do is I have my circle. I'm going to draw a circle. So again, I'm going to hold down my shift key and I'm going to draw a circle just like this. Okay. But what I want to do here, I want to center this just like that. And um, if you want it perfect, hold down the shift key, grab the end again and widen this just so just about there. Or if you want to just grab it so the the end. This doesn't seem to be centering nicely. I'm going to do this one more time. Let me delete this. Apparently the shift doesn't work once you have the handles around it. So I'm going to just draw a new circle. Okay, just like that. That there is good. And then I'm going to over here and um, very carefully I'm going to widen this a little bit really don't like how these tools work, but that should do it. Okay, so I have my nicely, oops, delete that. I'm going to go to the pointer here, recenter here, and I'm going to get rid of this ball. Okay, this ball is just a reference point of how close I want to be. If I want it touching it, obviously, I just make my circle a little bigger and touch it. But you want to make sure you have a perfect round circle uh, to do this with. Okay. So once you have that, you can get rid of this ball, okay? And we're going to center our circle here at zero, zero. And we'll do this in code. So let's go back to code. So with our big center circle, let's simply just do a one flag clicked, go to motion, and we'll center this circle right at zero, zero. Easy as that. Our other one should be centered at zero, zero, which is fine. So, um, oh, and let's go back to here. Let's hit the flag. And that's roughly the picture we had uh, before, right? So all we have to do now is go back here, okay? And go to looks, okay? I'm sorry, go to uh, events rather. Go to one flag clicked and go to forever. And what you have to do here is just, um, I'm sorry, <laughs> jumping ahead here go to uh, forever and then go to the point to uh, point towards mouse pointer and then uh, that's it pretty much so try it out and you'll see that gives you that rotational effect okay the the key was not centering this perfectly so the way this worked the reason why this works so nicely okay and we can move this ball. Now, you don't just move the ball here, okay? Uh, that's not going to work. Um, well, what you want to do is go back to the costumes for the ball, okay? And you see how it is over here? You want to click on it. So let's say you wanted, like, uh, this moving inside the circle, okay? We can just click on, the, on this. And just that distance, this distance right here, you shorten that up. See it moving in on both... And move it yeah so that right now it's on an inside track we can run this now and you'll see it looks like the ball is running on the inside of the circle okay now of course you can add bullets like in that game and have the bullets go to this circle and shoot in the direction of the mouse pointer okay but that's how you would do that now if you want to just do something fun you could do code over here and you can just do a turn <laughs> over here. Turn 15 degrees, put this in here, and you'll get a nice little circle rolling inside a circle. Kind of a cool effect. Okay. You can also uh, speed it up with a 30. Okay. Kind of cool. You could add a whole bunch of these little things and have them all spinning at different speeds and, and whatever and just have a little fun with it. But that's how that game was made, more or less. Uh, that's basically the technique for making this game, is just having that ball follow the mouse pointer. But it's not centered in the center of the ball. It's centered uh, to the left of it. Okay. So keep that in mind. It's really just a drawing technique that makes this work. Okay, now there's other ways you can do this which are much more complex without having to uh, make this this way. You could use some trigonometry. I will tell you that um, that would take me a little more work. And, uh, and as I said, it's really not that necessary because you could get this game working just fine. So the movement is, is uh, similar to what he did 
in that game. So just wanted to point that out. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and um, that's it. So thank you very much. Uh, you can feel free to leave questions below. Um, I'm going to go ahead and share this project so you can look at it. I'm just going to call it Ball Rotation. I'm going to call it Ball Within a Ball. And I'm going to share it out there. And there's the share. You can copy this address out there. Feel free. And uh, have a great day. Hope you enjoyed this video and hope you learned something cool that you could maybe teach your students and come up with some cool games with. All right? Awesome. See you soon. Thanks again. And again, this is Ken Adelglass with Carolina Kid Coders. Take care, guys.